Welcome, I'm Deronda, and today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious, scrumptious, easy pizza dough. And you're going to need, right here, four cups of flour. This is a tablespoon of kosher salt, and this is two tablespoons of olive oil. Now here, I have a one-fourth ounce package of active dry yeast. And you're also going to need one and a half cups of water. Now I'm adding the yeast here to a two cup measuring cup and I'm adding a half a cup of hot water to this. The temperature on this hot water should be about 100, 110 degrees. And then give it a nice little stir. And we're gonna let the yeast sit here in the water for about 10 minutes until the yeast dissolves. After 10 minutes, your yeast should be looking like this, bubbly and creamy. And to it, I'm adding another cup of warm water. Give this a nice little stir. And now over here in the mixing bowl, and I'm going to be using a dough hook here for my KitchenAid. I'm adding the yeast to the bottom of the mixing bowl. I'm going to add the kosher salt and I'm adding the olive oil. Next we're going to add the flour. You can add this all at once. Now if you add your flour to your mixing bowl before you add your wet ingredients as you're using your dough hook you're going to end up with a lot of flour in the bottom of your bowl. So make sure to put your wet ingredients in first. Now we're going to just attach the dough hook. And up we go and I'm using the speed 2 for the next 15 minutes to incorporate all these four ingredients together. Alright, you may want to scrape down the bowl for the first minute or two. Make sure there's no flour on the side of your bowl. And then just set your timer for 15 minutes and let your dough hook do the rest of the work. All right, the 15 minutes are up, and now we're going to transport our dough here into a lightly greased bowl that I have right here. So let's get this off. Now, if you're going to use, you can use your hands to get it out. It's just slightly sticky. That's going to sit in there and we're going to cover it with a piece of plastic that I've oiled very lightly with olive oil. And it's very important that you lightly grease your bowl all over with a little olive oil or any kind of vegetable oil or canola oil. Cover it with plastic. Make sure you also put a little olive oil or oil under the plastic here. And then this goes in a draft-free place where it's nice and warm for two to three hours. And it should triple in volume. This is our pizza dough. It has rised at least triple in size. And look how lovely that is. All right, I'm just gonna gently push it down. Make sure you have a little flour on your hands. Okay, we're just gonna lightly we're going to flour the surface and now as you can see we're going to roll the dough right out of the bowl onto the flour and we're just going to woo, we're going to cut this into six equal portions because these are going to make six rounds and six pizzas that are going to be 10 to 12 inches in size. So I'm going to start right here in the center. So we're going to do one, two, three. So we'll do two, three. And then we'll go over here and do the same with this side. And now you're just going to take your dough. Okay, let me get that just cut in there a little bit more. You're going to take each piece of dough 
and you're just going to roll it into a nice little ball okay and before we start stretching it and getting it flat to make our our pizza crust we're going to let it sit on a floured surface for about the next 20 minutes okay let me get this one going and again you're just going to do the same thing just kind of pull it and tuck it under all right There you go. Look how beautiful that is. So you got you a little ball of pizza here. All right, and again, just leave it right over here on a floured surface and let it sit for the next 20 minutes and I'll come back and I'll show you how to put this pizza together. It's been 20 minutes and I'm gonna take one of our little pizza balls here and you just wanna flatten it out. All right, it doesn't matter if it needs to be perfectly round it doesn't have to just make sure you get a little flour there so it won't stick and over here I've got this cookie sheet and I've added cornmeal to it evenly because this is what we're going to add the dough on while the um, the pizza bakes flip it over if you want while the pizza bakes this cornmeal will keep the dough elevated a little so you'll get that nice delicious crunch on the bottom of your pizza dough now at this point go ahead and stretch it into 10 to 12 inches okay just don't stretch it too much because it may tear on you but if it starts getting really super duper duper thin because this is definitely a thin crust you want to be careful because your fingers can go through all right I'm going to stretch it out just a little bit more now if you don't want to use all the dough for today you can put these in a lightly greased ziploc bag put it in your refrigerator and these will last up to a week so you just don't want to pull and tug on them until you're ready to use the dough and then when you do bring it out of the refrigerator you need to have your dough sit to room temperature before you start rolling and pulling your dough into a shape that you like all right now even if they're not round you're going to have this beautiful rustic um, pizza crust that anyone's just going to love to you know dig their teeth into all right so that's about 10 to 12 inches so i'm going to go ahead and put it over here on the cookie sheet and then i'll come back and i'll show you how we're going to dress the pizza dough and looky there how beautiful that is for the toppings of my pizza, I've got fresh grated Parmesan cheese, I have pizza sauce, pepperoni, red peppers, I have sauteed or caramelized onions here, and I have green olives. Now these olives have come from a pit in the center. First I'm going to add my pizza sauce. Okay, just leave about one-fourth away. Just add it onto your pizza crust about one-fourth of an inch away from the edge of your pizza dough. And I've got my oven preheating to 450 degrees because these are going to go in the oven and bake. Alright, and look how yummy. Oh, that's just going to be so, so good. Alright, you can add a little bit more. Um, now the cheese I'm adding onto this is mozzarella. Next, I'm adding a little Parmesan cheese right over the sauce. It gives it so much more flavor. Mm -hmm. And now I'm adding my I'm adding my caramelized onions. You can use a fork to do it. I'm just using my my fingers right now. Now I love caramelized onions on my pizza, especially this delicious pizza and then I'm adding my red peppers I have just very thinly sliced red peppers here and now for the mozzarella cheese and I love lots of cheese on my pizza lots of cheese and next I'm adding my green olives that I've taken the pit out of so they're not going to be perfectly um, even in size 
Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more mozzarella cheese. And then on the top of this, I'm going to add a few slices of pepperoni. Just stick them right here on the top. Now, I was going to quarter my little pepperoni rounds here, but I figured, hey, we'll just go rustic and leave them whole today. All right, I like lots of pepperoni too. If you have a little bit more cheese left, you want to sprinkle a little bit on top. That'd be great too for the pepperoni here. Just sprinkle it right on top. All right, now this goes in an oven for 12 to 15 minutes. And here it goes. Oh my, here's that delicious, yummy, scrumptious pizza. All right, I'm going to let it cool and then I'll come back and cut into it and I'll tell you how it tastes. It's cool enough to where I'm just going to slice into it. I'm going to cut it in quarters and then I'm going to go back and cut it again like this. That way if it's still a little warm. Okay. And looky here, I want to show you. Look at that beautiful, lovely piece. Look at the back, how nice and golden brown that is. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Let me dig into it. Mmm. 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 Wow. That is one dynamic pizza dough. Mmm, those caramelized onions and the pepperoni and that Parmesan cheese that we mixed into that pizza sauce is absolutely win-win. Oh, and that, that crust is absolutely so delicious. It's light, it's crunchy, it's got great flavor. It's just win-win all the way around. Thanks for watching. This is Dorana with Foods 101 and I'll catch y'all next time.